Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is the IT guy and in this video, I'm going to do an upgrade of an SSD on an older laptop. So the laptop still runs this old mechanical hard drive and it, you know, I think it's, you know, having some bad sectors and stuff like that. So I think it's ready to be replaced. But anyways, uh, a lot of people have an old laptop lying around and it's just collecting dust on the shelf or, you know, lying wherever or not doing nothing or maybe you're still using it and you're frustrated by how slow it is anyways this oops this ssd cost me around 40 euros which is about 40 to 50 dollars in the us probably more like 40 because in the us computer components are a lot cheaper than in europe uh but anyways uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the laptop right now and I'm going to see the performance differences uh, after I upgraded the SSD. So this is an old laptop of 2010 which makes it about 10 years old. Maybe a little bit less but it's about 10 years old. Uh, as you can see it has a Pentium P6000 and an ATI Radeon back in the day when AMD still was ATI, the HD5650 and about four gigs of memory, including a 500 gigabytes uh, hard drive. So let's see first how slow this thing actually boots. So to have the best apples to apples comparison, I clean installed Windows on the mechanical hard drive, the old hard drive that is, and it clocks in uh, at about one minute and four seconds to boot up to the desktop. In this clip you can see Microsoft Edge clocking in at about 6 seconds to start up. So in this clip you can see me install LibreOffice. LibreOffice is an installer file of about 350 megabytes. Uh, the installation took just under 4 minutes on the mechanical hard drive. Then LibreOffice opening takes about, about 1 minute and 16 seconds. Then for the final test, I copied about 8 gigabytes of files from the desktop to the C drive and that took about 5 minutes and 51 seconds. Now it's time to replace the hard drive, the mechanical hard drive that is, with the SSD and see what performance we get. So basically every test I did on the mechanical hard drive, I also did on the SSD. So I'm just going to let this roll. You can look at the results and at the end of the video, we'll have a little overview of the results and the differences uh, between them. So finally, I'm going to close things off with this uh, little uh, slideshow here. And it's just a little slideshow that shows you the timings of the classic hard drive and the SSD after it's been replaced. And uh, as you can see, there has been a significant uh, amount of time gained from just doing this little upgrade that cost me about 40 euros in total. So I hope you liked this video guys and if you did please leave a like and a comment below and if you want to see more of my of my videos please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.